Hi everyone and welcome to Life Made Simple. Today we're going to work on replacing this garage door bracket off of this old 20 plus year old garage door which weighs about 120 pounds. As you can see, and I'll get you a close up of it, this bracket is coming right off of that door. So what I've done is I've ordered a $30 adjustable bracket off of Amazon. I have no idea if it's even gonna fit. We'll see if we can get that new one attached. So hopefully I can get a few more years out of this without having to replace the door entirely, which is obviously pretty costly. If you're having the same problem with your garage door and the bracket's coming off of yours, hopefully this video will be helpful for you. So join me on my journey as I go to replace this and hope it goes well. As you can see here, the garage door bracket is basically coming off of the door here. <gasps> Originally part of the door, the way it's manufactured, worked well for a number of years, but at this point, it's barely holding on. I've replaced the garage door motor at one point as well because it burnt out. But hopefully if I can replace this with a workable garage door bracket, then I can avoid having to replace the door. So let's get started by removing this old bracket and all the hardware that comes with it. And then we'll get that new one fitted and see if we can get it installed. So in order to get this bracket here, I took off that metal bracket that went across the top because I need to get this to go behind it. So I'm going to cut this piece here so I can get this behind it. And then after I cut that, I can mount that in, get the bottom piece, see where I can screw that in as well. And then hopefully that bar above there is going to keep this bracket in place. What I want to do here is I basically want to get this bracket behind there so when the bar goes across the top that this is basically stuck and pressed behind it and I'll drill it in as well. So right now if you try to stick it through it's not going to get all the way through so I'm going to cut a slit off the top and then see if I can feed this through. So once I've got that piece in... Okay, so now I just want to line up this bracket to see if it's going to be the right spot. So the way this old bracket hooks up is it connects up in there and it just uses this little ring, snap it in place, hold it from coming out. And then we've got this piece that'll bolt, there'll be at least like a couple of bolts and then we'll hook it up that way, so. We're gonna line these up. It looks like this would, will probably work. And I'm gonna take this back down and then I'm gonna tighten these up, put that bar back across, hook it up, and then see if I can lift it up manually and go from there. All right, after putting this brace or bar back on, it looks like the holes are lining up. And it looks like this bracket is seated underneath properly. I'm going to have to drill a hole up top and then one down here. So right here, you can see there's a hole that lines up right there. So I'm going to drill that in, but then you'll notice where the, um, right there where the bracket is. I'm going to need to drill a hole through here to get to the screw hole on that bracket. And that should help hold this in place, at least on the top. And then underneath, it's still a mess, but uh, it looks like we're going to do two new holes and see how much they hold. But hopefully the, the bracket itself will be enough to hold this as well as being supported by this bar. And then I think I'm going to have to drill 
because uh, this is fiberglass, so it doesn't really hold in there, but down in here is where the screws were before. You probably, you can sort of see it in the back there. There's a hole and they went down at about a 45 degree angle and those actually held pretty well. Um, wasn't into the fiberglass. So we're gonna try to bolt this all back in. I've got a couple of bolts on that side, a couple of bolts on that side, and then we'll fix this up and then we'll go to shot. So then after tapping some screws in there, our work is complete. I know I still need to paint it and make it look a little bit better after this, but for now, I just wanted to get this installed. Got a couple of bolts holding it up there, one there, one over there, and really that metal bracket or bar is holding this bracket in place pretty well overall. And then the last piece, of course, as I mentioned, you can see the garage door arm bracket that's installed there. It's at the optimal angle and that's complete. So let's give it a try, see if this is gonna hold. Looks pretty good to me. Let's close it. Nice. Well, I would say my work is done. This Amazon bracket for 30 bucks seems to be pretty good, seems solid. I just need to dress it up a little bit. But I'm gonna call this job complete and move on to the next thing. Thanks for watching everybody. If this was helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. Comment if you have a question or if you had a similar or different experience, let us know. And lastly, subscribe to the channel so you can be notified of our latest DIY and tool review videos.